Hello, and welcome to today's video of Electrical Materials, where today we will be covering PN contact potential. PN junctions and diodes are used to control the flow of current in a circuit, and we can define contact potential to oppose the flow of current and prevent short circuiting. We can also go ahead and analyze temperature dependence of contact potential. When temperature increases, we can say that our contact potential decreases, and vice versa. When our temperature decreases, our contact potential increases. Let's go ahead and clear the board to further analyze PN contact potential. We can define contact potential to be equal to K, our Boltzmann constant, 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23rd power times T, temperature in Kelvin, divided by Q, our electron charge, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th power, multiplied by the natural log of Na, our acceptor concentration, times Nd, our donor concentration, and divide it all over by Ni squared, which is our intrinsic concentration. We can also note that Vt is equal to kT over Q, and it is estimated to be 0 0.026 volts at 300 Kelvin, which is thermal equilibrium. Let's go ahead and clear the board and look at our example now. For our example, at a temperature of 300 degrees Kelvin, a p-type semiconductor with an acceptor concentration of 1 times 10 to the 16th power meters negative cubed is brought into contact with an n-type semiconductor with a donor concentration of 1 times 10 to the 17th power meters negative cubed. Given that the intrinsic concentration is 1 times 10 to the 15th power in meters negative cubed, calculate the built-in potential of the resulting p-n junction. Starting off, we can note that we have a temperature of 300 Kelvin. And because we are in thermal equilibrium, we know that our thermal voltage, denoted as Vt, is estimated to be 0 0.026 volts. We can replace thermal voltage with this part of our formula. So setting up our formula, we have our built-in potential is equal to our thermal voltage. So we have 0 0.026 volts, taking the natural log of our acceptor concentration, and because it's just being multiplied by 1, I'm only going to keep 10 to the 16th meters negative cube, and we can multiply this by donor concentration, which is 10 to the 17 meters negative cube, and divide it all over by intrinsic concentration, which is 10 to the 15th but keep in mind that we do have a square here and we can take the natural log of all of that. And before we take the natural log, let's go ahead and simplify inside these brackets first. We can simplify by taking the square of our intrinsic concentration. So if we do so, we would then have 10 to the 30th power. Let's go ahead and move up the board to continue to simplify. Next, we can go ahead and simplify our numerator by multiplying these two. And so after multiplying, we are left with the numerator to be equal to 10 to the 33rd power. And we can go ahead and simplify finally by dividing. which is going to give us a thousand. Let's go ahead and move the board again to continue to solve. Next, we can go ahead and take the natural log of a thousand. And doing so will give us 
And lastly, we can go ahead and multiply 6.9 by our thermal voltage, which gives us the contact potential to be equal to 0 0.1794 volts. This concludes our video on PN contact potential. Thank you for watching.